Hey, what's going on YouTube? The Bearded Baron here bringing you guys another Phasmophobia video. In today's video, I decided to do a breakdown guide for new players that are coming into the game. You guys got questions, happy to answer them. We're doing this live. So if you guys have not seen me over on Twitch, please head over there, show me, give me a follow. But if you're new here, please like the video, share it with a friend and consider subscribing if you like the video. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so... Uh... First things first, right? Total activity is a big help for you, and your average sanity is also a big help. Overall, most ghosts will not hunt you until you drop below a 50% threshold, right? So that's kind of your thing. So you need to be checking your sanity. If it does drop, take the sanity pills. That's the first thing, right? Grab the flashlight. The dark, uh, the, the black flashlights are brighter than these generic flashlights, right? Never buy these. They're a waste of money. And unless you're going for like some kind of a challenge. Now, I always go with uh, EMF and the camera um, because I, one, I can get EMF pretty quickly when I'm looking for the ghost, right? We can we can verify that the ghost did, in fact, touch something. And then you can also get EMF 5 from that so you can get a piece of evidence. And then the cameras, because I can take pictures of things as we're going around. We're looking for the ghost room. I can get pictures of the bone. I can get a picture of the cursed object, all that kind of stuff. Um, sorry, I disappeared a bit for dinner. I'm out of back. No worries, Heidi Hobbit. Welcome back. So let's see what we got here, right? We got parabolic mic. We need to escape during a hunt, and we need to capture a photo of the ghost. So we're just going to go in. Now, I know where all the cursed items are at. They will always be in the exact same place. So we'll, basically what we're just going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to start, start shutting doors. We can see that we can hide inside that closet if we need to. Astro Dummy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. So right away, the ghost went ahead, touched on something. So we know that the ghost is right there. So we're gonna shut that. We're gonna shut that door because I still need to find the bone. So we're gonna head it and we'll get that. And then we also need the cursed object, which uh, might be over in here in the nursery. We'd have the music box. Uh, there's no mirror on the wall, so we're going to move past it. We come out over here on this side. No tarot cards. So that leaves us with summoning circle, Ouija board, or voodoo doll. Summoning circle and Ouija board are both going to be here. And there we go. So now just like that, right, we already got three photos and found the ghost room in what? Like a minute? Now, the other thing that we're going to do as well is we're going to turn on the power, which I looked at it wrong because I'm still used to the uh, the old red breakers, not the, the fancy new ones that we got here. So we'll turn that on. Yeah, I passed it. I, I'm, I'm so used to looking at the red ones that, like, my, my brain doesn't register if there's anything else on the wall. Not yet. Anyways, so. All right, we know what room it's in. We know that it's in that front bedroom. So now... We're going to grab other equipment. Now, you notice I'm in and out, right? We got the photo. It touched the door again because I can hear the EMF going off. And then not only that, but then we can also see that on the board. EMF 2 means that a door was touched. EMF 3 means that the uh, ghost interacted with something. It tossed something, right? EMF 4 generally is a ghost event. EMF 5 is EMF 5. So that's the way to look at it. So now on the next pass in, I'm going to bring in the video camera dots and ghost writing because ghost writing, generally speaking, takes takes it a while to get there. Uh, I'm going to look. I can already tell you we have orbs because you can see them on the little screen. If you can't see them, I'll show them here in just a little bit. And we're going to set this down and we're going to set up the board as well. Now, I also shut these doors. So that way, let's say, for instance, I hear the EMF go off again. Then what I can do is, is I can actually come back in with my camera and go, oh, okay, cool. And I can snap a photo uh, because I'll know what doors or, yeah, what doors or what objects has been touched. I hope I got something there. I did. We got the interaction. Couldn't see what it was, but I got it with the, uh, with the EMF. So good on that. What's up, Goose PhD? All right, so now you notice my sanity is still at 83%. We're still well above um, 
still well above the hunting threshold so we're we're really solid on that at that point now what we're looking for here what you're looking for for orbs i'm going to point to it with my finger you're going to see it somewhere right around here see that little guy and we also have dots so we got orbs and then what you saw there was the old granny she was running through the frame so that's orbs and dots that's what those look like So we'll annotate that in the book. We got dots, we got orbs, right? And that limits us out. So happy you're still streaming. Of course, of course. Oh, yeah. Mitch Pudding, thank you so much for the five month resub. I appreciate that. So um, at this point, right, we're gonna take a look. So what I like to do is, is, is just rule out what we have left, right? We haven't gotten freezing yet. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna mark out freezing because we don't, we don't necessarily need it. Um, we don't have any fingerprints, so we can mark that out. Now, that's leaving us with three choices, which means either EMF5, Ghostwriting, or Spirit Box. Now, we got the Ghostwriting in there already. Um, I'm going to bring in the Spirit Box. I'm also going to bring in another camera with the flash or with the uh, UV light. Because a lot of times, if you're not getting fingerprints, you can still get footprints to help you fill out the book. Where are you? I'm clear. Okay, and we got Spirit Box, which means what we're dealing with is a yokai. It tapped on the window. Now, yokais are attracted to sounds. Right? They're attracted to, to somebody speaking, near, to talking near them. Hello? Where are you? Can you show yourself? Where are you? Are you here? Can you give me a sign? Can you touch something? Can you open a door? Can you do something? Do some math. Do something? do something where are you are you here where are you it's not wanting to show up now okay cool touching another door right so we don't know what door that it could have touched but because with the emf now we can snap a photo hey, that emf is a really good tool to be able to use and then we'll just touch the door we'll just shut the door again Ooh, red line i see you that's why I always reset the doors. That way, if it, if the door opens and it's the only one open, you automatically know that that's, that's it. That's what we need to do. All right. So we need the parabolic mic, escape during a hunt, and capture a photo of the ghost. Now, we have the Ouija board. You could, theoretically speaking, you could get more points out of the Ouija board. Um, and that would be fine, right? You could get more things out of the Ouija board. Uh, but then you also are going to run the risk of dropping your sanity, which let's take a look at that. We're at 80%. So we're still doing solid. <clears throat> Tell the ghost he smells like ass. Why would I do that? Yes, they can also instant hunt. That's another thing. Commander Kara, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Beta Baron group. Now, the parabolic mic is really good for being able to discover the ghost room in, on larger maps. I really recommend them. Uh, they're really, really good in, uh, for being able to find them. Because what you'll see here is when you find the ghost room, you see them, you notice we, we pointed it at the room and we're getting activity here, but it's staying pretty much solid at that 0.7 the entire time. And the reason for that is because that just, that's a one way of being able to tell that, hey, okay, the ghost is in that room. Right? So we pointed at the room, wherever that we're getting the, um, right? We're still getting that, that 1.5 right now not to be alarmed right that's another good reason to have a camera on you right i had the camera on me was able to get the ghost photo no problem three star ghost photo boom perfect right came over here let's open up these doors close it so these are the things that i do every single time that we go into a match right now, because it's a yokai, I run the risk of me talking near it is dropping my sanity, and it could also trigger a hunt early, right? So if it is a yokai and you are playing by yourself, um, it could potentially be an issue. It's not even my birthday. How did I not get that? It turned that on, and then I immediately snapped it. That might actually be a bug, because it definitely turned that on. Right now, we just need to escape during a hunt, and we need to get one more photo here, anyways. So what we can do is we can come over here like this. 
drop that down. U.S. Art Dragon, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. So what we can do here is we're going to prep for it to hunt us, right? See, we're at 68% sanity, so we dropped by 12 just around there. The hunt's been going? Uh, avenge me? It's been a mixed bag, to be honest. We're doing an educational run right now. Um, just kind of showcasing to people what they, you know, what they can do, uh, you know, how to, how to find the ghost. I need one more photo. So we're going to come down here. We're going to get it from, um, from here. Now you can ask the Ouija board several different questions, right? It depends on what you're asking. It depends on what kind of an answer that you're going to get from it. Right? So <clears throat> like, for example, what I always like to do when I'm asking the ghost, you could ask it where it is. You can ask it where the bone is. Both of them are valid questions and it'll give you those answers, but it's going to drain your sanity. But you can also ask it other questions and find out more personal information about the ghost. How many pickles can you stick up your butt? Perfect. Uh, do you like beards? Who likes beards? Goodbye. Now it's hunting. So now we know that it's hunting, right? One of the worst things that you can do during a time when it is hunting is go up the stairs or down the stairs if you don't have a line of sight on the ghost or know exactly where it's at. Because it's going to be harder to hear it. See? She's going to come downstairs and then we're going to smudge through her. Smudge right through her. And the hunt's already over. Now, what I did there, right, is you is a, is a thing called smudging through the ghost. So what it allows you to do is it gives you several seconds of invulnerability. It allows you to be able to move through the ghost, right, to get to a better position. So uh, it's good to have those when you know that you're going to get hunted or be in that hunted, um, you know, be in that threshold, right, for where our sanity is at. Um, and uh, be able to survive it. Not losing my inventory on death. Big Mike 17, thank you so much for that, Father. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. So there we've got it, right? We know that it's a yokai. We've got all the secondary objectives. We got all of the photos uh, that were there as well. So do you guys have any other questions before we uh, before we head off from this match? Something fell over downstairs to scare my cat, so I went charging downstairs screaming like an orc waving a baseball bat. Okay, Dark Lady. <laughs> I don't know why that messes it up so much. What is the crucifix do? It is used to help you to prevent. Uh, it's used to help to prevent a hunt from occurring. So, like, let's say for instance, right? This one might be a little bit more difficult because of where he's moved to. I'm hoping that it's in this room I'm actually I'm hoping that he's still in here kind of what I'm hoping for let's leave out let's grab a smudge stick just to be on the safe side so that way you can see it so when we're assuming where we know where the ghost is right we 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 say hey okay we know you're somewhere over here in this area and then the crucifixes help to prevent a hunt standing camel candle elaboration what do you mean the standing candle like just to be able to stand it up uh it is you can use a crucifix from outside the area because it has the area of effect but you wouldn't be able to like you wouldn't be able to stand out here and like peer inside you'd be able to see stuff right but it would be the same stuff you'd be able to see with the naked eye you wouldn't i don't think that you would necessarily be able to see dots i mean maybe but yeah, if you're if you're hoping for that, you can just kind of stand in the doorway and pick up evidence like that. It's going to be very hard for you. For as far as the standing uh, candle blown out, I mean, that one's as simple as just that right there. It blew out the candle, right? So if you want to place something, you hold down F, it places it down. The ghost, if the ghost is nearby, it has a chance of blowing out the candle and it'll blow out the candle. Here's the crucifix though. You see that crucifix? So there is a spent up crucifix and there is the other crucifix. So this ghost has already tried to hunt twice since I've been inside the house. Right now you can hold on to the crucifix. 
or you can have it on the floor uh and if the ghost is within range of the crucifix when it decides it wants to hunt it'll eat a chunk out of the crucifix like so right so you can't hold it you can't have it on the floor after it eats it after it takes another chunk that's it it buys you five seconds so there you go so now i have five seconds before it'll hunt again right five four three two one hunt now now it's decided to take sweet time now it just wants to hit just wants to tap on the window <laughs> you must play ghost watchers <laughs> all right well i guess uh, it doesn't want to hunt me right there but so there you go so it shows you that you can either hold on to the crucifix or you can just set them down either one it doesn't matter um but again right if we wanted to get above that threshold for where the ghost is hunting all you'd have to do is just take some sanity pills get back above the uh the 50 percentile right and then you would be perfectly fine you can take a picture of crucifixes it is one of the things uh up until this re most recent update that was not a thing but now you can you can also take pictures of let me show you so you could take photos of dots like if you actually got the if you took a photo as the ghost was running through the dots you can actually take that photo now you can actually take a photo of the footprint in the salt whereas before you couldn't and you can actually take photos of the crucifixes as well so like all of those things are now photos that you can take um and those are pretty good photos but just in the corner and crucifix thinking that it would stop the ghost yeah it does not stop the ghost does not but there you go guys <coughs> Hopefully that was educational for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And guys, listen, if you're still watching this over here on YouTube, if you haven't already, please come over, join uh, my lives on Twitch. I stream four days a week or subscribe to the channel over here. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. But I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining with me. If I helped you out, please let me know. If you, there's a different kind of video you'd like to see, let me know that down in the comment section below. But until then, I'll catch you guys later. Dirty